Oh wow, this is unusual! I'm looking at camera! Well, that's because today there's not gonna be any role playing, because I just wanna give you guys a tour of my Zergraft Season 3 base. So let's begin! Let's begin over here as this was the first house that I built on the server. As I go inside, here I have my bedroom. Uh, right here is my storage, where I was basically keeping my extra blocks. Uh, here I also made uh, this villager breeder. But on the second floor I had this amazing villager trading hub. But also this house has a basement area where I was uh, having even more trades with these guys over here and also I had this zombifying station right here uh, where the villagers were coming out from the breeder that is above us. Well this next house is a mason's workshop. In a basement area I have these uh, stone and basalt generators right here. I have a little bit of smelting area and also this mud farm. But on the first floor this house is dedicated to these masons that I can trade with. But these guys also have very very nice living area upstairs with the bedrooms being on the very top of this building. Next up is this building right here. Well, on the ground floor I have this sugar cane farm made in it, but uh, on the first floor we have more villagers. Well, here I have my cartography guys and I even have two fishermen right here. Well, 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 as we go by the well that we can actually jump into and access my mines, which are underneath our feet, we get to the Fluffy! Hello, Fluffy! <coughs> See? He does talk for real! Because I'm not role-playing today! Well, this building right here is where I'm growing cacti and I even have more smelters right here. And on the second floor, I have another uh, bedroom with a view to my cactus farm. We go back outside and we can see my beautiful portal over here with this wheat farm right in front of it. And we can also make bone meal from this wheat farm. Here, let's pay attention to this house. This house is for cows and it even has a little bit of living area on top of it. Ah, and we also have some chickens over here. You escaped, you lucky. This next house right in front of us is my wool farm where I'm gathering all 16 colors of wool. This building also has the second floor with living space for the person to actually uh, yeah, live fairly comfortable life over here. But now, as we get back to the Fluffy, we can see that there is another building right next to him. And that, of course, is a Mammoth's Inn. Well, on the first floor, there is this reception area with a table to sit down and have some meal. On the second floor, however, we have these rooms for rent. And if we need, we even have more space for guests here in the attic. As we leave the Mammoth's Inn, we can gaze upon the statue of the goddess. And I must point out that the statue of the goddess and Fluffy are the only two builds that I uh, pre-made in a creative world. But they are still 100% designed by me and without using any tool assistant uh, mods or something like that. I just uh, build them block by block and uh, yeah, uh, 
shape them until I get the result that I wanna see. But this statue right here also have another function and that is a creeper farm. Well, yeah, I have had a lot of gunpowder coming in from this place during this season. From the base of the statue, we can actually see this bridge. Well, what this bridge is all about? Well, obviously we can cross it, but we can also go down on this side right here. And if we go low enough, we're gonna reach a very, very special room. And that room uh, is this one where I have my villagers, my toolsmiths, my armorers, and my weaponsmiths. And also, right here, I have this iron farm, which is actually uh, yeah, just right inside this great pillar of the bridge. But as you see, right in front of us, there is a fortress. Yes, the fortress is the second large part of my base. In this fortress there are plenty of uh, small rooms to explore, we can basically go inside in each and every one of these defense walls and the fortress itself is divided in uh, four courtyards. With this being the first one, we can actually go in the second one right here. Uh, also in this defense wall right here I do have my bee farm. And also, right beside my bee farm, I have these prison cells uh, with uh, also this dungeon right here. If we leave this uh, wall, we can enter the third courtyard, which actually houses my uh, nether wars farm. And in the middle, we have this main hall of the fortress. Uh, yeah, there are some chambers down below us. And also we have plenty of living space here in this uh, large tower right here. Uh, yeah, if we go to the second floor we can actually oversee the Great Hall. But from the third floor... We have these living quarters that we can access right here. Also, we can step out on top of the watchtowers. And if we go even further up, uh, we reach the very top of the tower with more uh, beds to sleep in. But now let's backtrack a little bit and go through this door right here, which takes us to the final courtyard, uh, which also has the second exit from this fortress. Oh no, horsey, I think I forgot to feed you. I'm sorry, you look a little bit thin. So, if we exit this uh, archway right here, that takes us to the final part of my base. Well, as you can see, this part of the base has even more houses. Let's go inside this first one. Well, this is a very, very basic house for people to live in, with two bedrooms on the second floor and a kitchen on the first one. Um, yeah, and the toilet, of course. Also, this house right here is the same purpose as the first one. It's just a house for people to live in. And again, nothing too fancy going on right here. Just the basic stuff. However, this building right in front of me, this is the 
a white orchard's tavern. Yes, this is a tavern with a huge hall on the first floor and few bedrooms on the second floor. Right here and some more over on this side. But that's not it! This place also has a sable area down here. And as we exit, we can also take the path that goes through this archway to reach the church. And this is the Church of the Black Sun that is dedicated to the same goddess that we have statue of back there. Well, here we can see that this is the main room of the church uh, with the musical organ up there. Here, behind the altar, we have these doors that takes us to the library of the church and here we have the priest's private chambers with a little bit of a uh, bedroom upstairs and also toilet. Also from the library we can reach the bell tower up there but we can also go down to reach these catacombs that are hidden beneath the church. And finally the very last part of my base is this farming area right here where I have this large barn where to store all the goods that are coming in from this field right here and I also have this nice looking uh, windmill to actually process all the grains that we get. So this concludes my Zetacraft Season 3 uh, base tour. And I want to say a huge thank you for watching my videos. I hope you liked this season because I had a lot of fun making these videos. And if you want to support me, please leave a like, drop a comment, maybe subscribe to my channel. And also if you want to show me an extra support, find me on the patreon.com slash guruMT. But that being said, huge thank you one more time and I hope to see you guys next time. Goodbye! Bye 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 bye! Goodbye!